Thanks, Johnny. Jim Vaughn and Sam Marsnick will be sitting this one out, but they will be providing the all-important play-by-play and color commentary. So let's go down to the press or peeps box. Guys, take it away. Thanks, Dave. Well, with all that's been going on, it's hard to believe Easter is here already, huh, Sam? That's right, Jim. But enough with the small talk. Dan, Johnny, and Dave have really been training hard for this event for the last few months. Notice they're practicing social distancing. Not quite six feet, but on a smaller scale, six inches will do. No doubt even peeps have to do their part. Dan will start from lane one, Johnny from lane two, and Dave, the elder statesman of the group, in lane three. Hold up. Dave's making sure you can tell the three of them apart. Okay, he's ready. This should be a great race. They did rock, paper, scissors to find out who goes first, and the first one to 15 will take home the championship. Dave's rolling for everyone, and he's got his glove on, playing it safe. Johnny gets the first roll, and okay, he's got a good charge. Four spots to take the early lead. Dan follows, and he's sputtering out of the chute, just moving one space. So much for that energy drink. Dave finally gets it going, and wow, who knew? A six. Wow, the OG in the lead. Good start, but can he keep up this pace? Dan in last place starts the next round, and nice. He rebounds, shooting a five, moving into a tie with Dave. Johnny throws a three. Now he takes a lead at seven spots, but at this point, it's really anybody's race. Dave's turn now, and uh-oh, just a two. That quick burst to start might have hurt him, but he's still clinging to a one-spot lead at eight. Dan still in third place, starts round three, picking up a respectable four. He takes his first lead of the race at ten. Johnny's up, and wah-wah, just a two this time around, so he's in second place at nine. Dave follows with a solid three. Three, reclaiming the lead at 11, things setting up for a photo finish. Johnny starts round four from the back of the pack and comes up huge, flipping a big five to take a commanding lead at 14. Dan finds himself a three. He's losing steam, but he's in second at 13. It's up to Dave, and unbelievable. He bookends things with another six and crosses the finish line. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's go down to Dave now as he accepts that championship trophy. It's been a lot of work, tireless hours of running in place and staying out of the fridge, but it was all worth it. I'm already looking forward to defending my title next year under better circumstances. Happy Easter from all of us in the 69 Sports Department. Dave Lesko, 69 Sports.